Here we go, 15,563. SPX. And again, Infinity, I think, from last I saw, folks, has like three left. So if you guys want that to go, we can get it going right after this. We start off for the San Jose. I'm going to clean this off. Boom. San Jose Sharks. 375. Klejov. Rookie Jersey Auto. Klejov. We've got a two ninety nine base of Drew Doughty. L A. Another L A. Kings finite rookies of Mikey Anderson. Mikey Anderson, obviously a bit of a scuff on the bottom middle, as you can see. Unfortunately. And Anaheim Ducks gets laugh jersey. Obviously the machine was scuffing all the bottoms of those. Holy jeez. Jersey Auto of Lilligran for the Leafs. Uh, Patrick, no. I don't think I had any impact on it. The Ice in the Trilogy cut is basically more so $2.99 Barzel base. If they want to keep or get things ever slightly back to normal, they have to go this route. It had nothing to do with really the products this year. It's more so kind of just getting things back. Very nice. Shadow Box. Caprisov. Caprisov. And we've got for the Vegas Golden Knights, Colasar, rookie jersey. Because the thing is, at the end of the day, Patrick, you got to remember, they got, what, five more releases still to go this year. It would be very hard for them to properly catch up if they, uh, if they just kept on going that route. So at a certain day or certain time, it's more so do you just kill a couple products and, and then utilize that time to catch up on other products? Because you got to remember, when was SBA normally? July normally. Now we won't even have it till maybe February. How are you going to catch up the next few years? If this is going to be your constant problem. Obsidian jersey of Velarde. L.A. 3.99. We, oh nice, 99 Pride of a Nation Auto Vasilevsky. And also, Patrick, just a knowledge point for a lot of people who may not know this. It's not like they just create a product and build it right now. So, Extended, for example, was created about a year, about 15 months ago. And they probably booked that time on the printers 15 months ago. We've got a 349 Lindstrom for the Red Wings. Landstrom, 349. And for the Philadelphia Flyers, Jersey Sean Couturier. So, I, as I, I understand it, they have to make some decisions like that, which are not going to be very fun. And I can promise you guys, for anyone who's ragging on Upper Deck or think it's bad, I can promise you. Ice is definitely a very profitable item for them. The Ice 99 rookies 
How much of that stuff they can print? That is a that is obviously a very big decision for them to do this. So they're obviously taking it very seriously. Vegas Golden Knife, Peyton Kreps. Peyton Kreps. But extended would have just as much of an impact on any products going forward as any other products that came out. He sheer for the Devils. New Jersey. So, extravagant materials for the Boston Bruins, uh, Pasternak. Do you want to know also, Patrick, my, uh, my slightly controversial opinion on this? Obsidian jersey of Josh Norris. Ottawa Senators. $3.99. If you want my honest opinion. <laughs> if anyone else wants my honest, slightly controversial opinion. I will say it when I'm done the break. Just so I can obviously explain it in a little more in depth. We've got for the Vegas Golden Knight base auto of William Carlson. And I'm curious to see if you guys think the same wavelength as me on this. Or if you guys think I'm a complete nut job. Extravagant materials of McKinnon. McKinnon. You want my hot take? Okay, perfect. For the Dallas Stars, Jason Robertson. Finite rookies. And we finish off with a rookie jersey, Bowen Byron. 